Hey y'all. Happy Sunday in my world. Happy whenever you'll see this in your world, okay? Bienvenidos a mi canal. Welcome back to my channel if you know me. Uh, if you know me, thank you so much for coming back to see a girl. Appreciate you. If you do not recognize this face right here, my bad. My name's Latrice. Nice to meet you. And this right here is Faith by Latrice. Yes, where faith is the muscle we exercise around here. Now let's get on into it. No dilly dallying. Meet up. First things first, before I get into this, I am not feeling the best. I accidentally slept with the AC on, on accident. And so now my body's like, whoa. That combined with mild anemia. Anyways, the point, we're going to get through this. Amen. <laughs> All right. El tema de hoy. Before it gets better. Before it gets better. All right, let's jump into this. Listen. So PD, once again, has come back on this Sunday today that I'm recording this. And has delivered another message in the um, Exit Strategies sermon series, right? Boom. Oh, Jesus. So we about to be in the book of Exodus, right, for the series. Exodus means exit. Okay. Woo! All righty. So he says, one thing he said was that when God starts talking about exits, it's because he's getting ready to make one. I said, well, Jesus, sounds sounds about right. Sounds about right. It's according to my, it's according to my life, things right now. And I know I'm not the only one. So let's get into uh, some notes he was talking about, right? Boom. Now, although he was in Exodus, or he is in Exodus, he mentioned something in his sermon that brought us to Romans 12 and 2. If you don't know what it is, escúchame the way I see it. Um, do not be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed in another translation. Be transformed by the renewal of your mind that by testing, you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Stop. The first half of that is do not be conformed to the, do not be conformed to this world. Another translation says to the ways of this world, right? But be transformed, be transformed. Transformation is the goal, right? How do we do that? By the renewing of your mind. And PD said, renewing just means renovation. When you renovate a house, what do you a lot of times have to do? You have to tear down the old. You have to tear down the walls, demolish things. It can get ugly. Matter of fact, it will get ugly. It's going to be dust and rubble and stuff all over the place right it don't look pretty when you make jesus we know the end result is going to be nice right and not just nice it's going to have probably a better foundation laying a better foundation laying having it the way it's supposed to be right it's going to have enough space now it's going to have enough rooms now it's going to have what you need it to have not just what you want but what you need it to have so that the house can thrive well and last for a long time all right. Now, the second half of that um, is that by the testing, you may discern what is the will of God, what is good, acceptable, and perfect. PD was explaining. He's like, look, you got to do this. You have to rent a, you have, you're going to go through this transformation to renew your mind, right? Because you're going to become that proof of God's will in your life. If you're a Christian, if you follow Christ, right, and <clears throat> you're always talking about the goodness of God and the exceedingly and abundantly of what's gonna, of what he can do, right, and all of these things and the blessings and the weapons formed against you not being prospered, all that kind of stuff, right, and you doing this, you're going to become the proof of that thing. You're going to become the proof of those things happening in your life by transforming and renewing your mind. All right, boom. Petey said you don't change your life by changing your life. You change your life by changing your mind. One of the points he said is you have to filter things. He said you must limit and filter out that which is unhealthy, unhelpful, and unholy. Demolish some stuff. I think this is what Jesus, what Jesus gave me, right? Demolish some stuff. Renovate your mind. Tear it down so we can put the new foundation and the new stuff in. Jesus. Some of us are exiting. Oh God, we're going to have to exit out <clears throat> old ways of thinking. Let's use me as a personal example. Now I have told you I'm on this transition, right? I'm in this transition <clears throat> where now I'm implementing some new good habits, right? Positive habits and like getting up early finally. And I have an accountability partner, which I love. Hey, love you. <laughs> um, to help me get up early, right? To call me in the morning. I get up early. I do my reading and my writing and I read the word, right? Start my day off, first of all, with putting good things in. Shout out to, to D. Wayne Edwards of Pencil Lewis 
College of Business and Design in Detroit. Because when I was at Pencil, when it was in um, Portland, he said, start your day with some good information. Skip social media, skip the email, skip all of that. Start with some good information, right? So I'm going to get up and I'm going to read the word. I'm going to read some scripture. I'm going to read the Bible. I'm going to pray. I'm going to be thankful. I'm going to talk to God. Say, I'm thankful for, thank you for waking me up this morning, huh? Because a lot of people did not. Let's start with some good things, some good information, all that. Then I do my reading, my 20-minute reading or 28 to 30 minutes. And then my writing, right? Let's start with that. But to do that, I got to tear down the old stuff. Which means, if I'm on a new tip, if I'm going to be doing this new stuff, also I'm going to be mindful of the people I'm talking to now. Mindful of the people I'm hanging with now. Mindful of the time I spend with certain people around doing certain things. That means some people are going to get mad. Some people are going to get offended that I don't want to talk to them. I don't want to hang out with them. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't hang out with you today. I can't hang out with you on the weekend. Oh, you, you busy? No, I just can't do what you're doing no more. <gasps> All right, well, before it gets, before it gets better. It might get ugly. We're just going to leave it at that. Si nadie te ha dicho hoy, esta día que te estoy hablando a ti mismo. If nobody has told you today, I love you. Because listen, life be life in. But guess what? We are going to prosper regardless. <laughs> Have a great day. I hope I feel better. Bye.